0.3 of a mark from Michel Kwan. I think that is great for the American. But America may well strike because here is the 20 year old from Westwood, California, Sasha Cohen, in second place, going in to the free. John Nix from Great Britain, her coach, her new coach. Can he take her to a gold medal here? Her music pas de deux from the Nutcracker, Tchaikovsky. Silver medalist last year. She's in the silver medal position right now. And making sure everything is absolutely as she wants it. Is this her time? Had a time violation, would you believe, in the short program, which cost her a full mark. Could that come into play here? certainly is making them wait letting them know she's in charge here is she going to be the governor at the end of the afternoon triple flip I think the hand stayed off I'm sure it did she hung on to that by the skin of her teeth boy she's dicing
it may be good enough to get her the gold medal. It won't be gold for Kwan. It just might be for the young pretender here who I sensed ever since we first saw her a couple of years ago. She believed that she was going to be world champion pretty soon. It hasn't happened. She's had to wait. Is she going to have to wait another year? Or here in Moscow, of all places, is she going to claim the gold medal? Well, she's put some pressure on the uh, three remaining skaters. That's all she could possibly do. Wasn't flawless. The Salco seems to be the bugbear this afternoon, doesn't it? She struggled on that and uh, really fought on the flip, which could be key, the fact that she didn't fall. And got the Salco in the end. In the end, seven dribbles. They were a bit sketchy. At least two of them. But it was brave. It was. It was beautiful. A lot of it beautiful. Here's that Lutz. Tends to change edge a little bit on the way in. This is the highlight. Is, is Cohen going to take over? Yes, lovely triple loop. Let's go down ringside where the leader is waiting for us, Carolina Costner. Petra saying, you seem to be a little tired at the end of the program. Yes, after the double loop, I tried to focus again. But it was a hard week. And I was tired at the end. All week you have to focus on what you're doing, on the training and the programs themselves, so it's it's really hard. But it's a it's a great experience and I'm happy with it. Well she's happy now. She might be even happier at the end of the afternoon. We shall see. Is she gonna stay in the lead? I don't think so. To be honest, I thought she was lucky to, to head off Kwan. Yes, I think uh, the, the mark's going with her because of the triple-triple combination, but uh, just great to see those pictures and to see John Nix back again with Sasha. Now, we'll know pretty soon if it's a podium place of some kind. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, she's, she's decimated the opposition by some 14 points. Remember, she had the lead over Costa and Kwan before, and now she's put a country mile between herself and them. That is going to take some beating. Slutskaya better be in form. 124.61 for the free program. She's in the lead. She will be on the podium. We're on the podium. It's going to be either gold or silver. At the moment, she's in pole position.